up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2013 nissan frontier crew cab sv metallic blue on the outside with gray cloth interior and only 17,000 miles it is still under the balance of a three-year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty which is followed by a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty as a clean title and also qualifies for carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty alloy wheels rear color camera, fog lights, rear parking sensors, and a number of other, other options that I'll get into in just a minute. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street in Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Again, it's the SV model with rear parking sensors, two on each side of the bumper. The Class 3 heavy-duty tone package. And it's got the uh, side rails for anchors, and it's got um, the coated uh, bed here with uh, slides here so you don't scratch it. Really, really nice condition. Definitely never been used for work. All right, let's continue going around. It's got BF Goodrich tires, um, radial long trail TAs, which are in great shape. They're not new, but they definitely don't need to be replaced. They still have plenty of thread left on them. Four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors. All right, you also got a bug shield up in the front here. And you also have these uh, rain or vent guards on both sides, of course. Privacy tinted glass on the rear. The door panels are all uh, gray. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, uh, storage here on the sides, and a bottle holder. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no other smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an out smoker. Curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Bucket seats with center console. Power mirrors, cargo lamp, and steering wheel controls. Let's go ahead and get it started. Okay. lower the volume here and turn on the AC here all right maybe that's a little too high all right it does have a dual climate control as you can see I got the passenger side at 65 degrees while the driver's side is at 60 and all that really means is that the AC vents on the right hand side will blow at 65 while the ones on the left hand side will blow at 60 or whatever it is you set it to it only has 17,535 miles it is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left side of the screen. I'm going to rev the engine. 4.0 liter V6. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only lights that you do have on uh, is the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. All right. Um, I start off with the, uh, let's put the vehicle in reverse for the rear camera. A little hard to do with your left hand and those have also parking guidelines in this place right there on your radio okay all right let's come back down and put it in park all right you do have a um, stereo controls on your steering wheel here and uh i believe this is a volume control here you can raise the volume lower it here all right this one here is to navigate about your preset stations you tap it up and down that takes you from your preset stations here which of course they can be changed you don't have to stay where they are now your mode which is going from right now we're on fm1 fm2 am and back to fm1 and that is your mode button over here this is here uh, for your bluetooth once you pair your phone to the bluetooth you can answer it over here and hang it up over here on the right hand side you get your cruise control okay um let's see let's start from the bottom up here where you rest your elbow here you got storage and you do have a 
nice uh, USB port and a cigarette lighter adapter there for chargers and a pretty deep storage down there. Uh, you got cup holders here in the center that have a rubber lining so in case you spill soda or coffee whatever you can take it out and hit it with a hose you don't have to bring the hose inside the car. Uh, a manual um, uh, by the way this is my string from the camera uh, manual emergency brake okay and you got a uh, little pockets here for storage and more storage down there over here is this is to disable your parking sensors those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object the ones I showed you on the rear bumper this one here is to disable your traction control uh, AC controls up in the center here we're gonna put them both to max this is nice and hot outside today and let's lower the fan because it's blowing pretty cold all right, um, you got an auxiliary input here for your iPod, so you can listen to your iPod music right on your stereo sound system. Sound system it does have XM capability, although right now it's probably on preview mode because you have to call that number or sign up with uh, either one of the serious XM satellite companies. All right, uh, your rear view mirror has a sensor up here that senses bright light, so if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right-hand corner of the mirror, you got a compass and an outside temperature readout. Up in the top here, you got your um, pocket here for uh, sunglasses and map lights on either side. You got a uh, more cigarette light adapters here, two more for your chargers or your cigarette lighter. Your main glove box in here, and then you also got an upper glove box, and then there's your owner's manual. All right, um, let's see what else here. Let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. All right. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. Um, pretty much done up with the front here. Uh, I try to cover as much as I can in these videos. Sometimes I miss stuff that people want to know about. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. My name is George, and let's move on to the... Uh, rear area the rear seating okay all right so this is a five passenger vehicle two in the front and three in the back and they all have an over-the-shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses this belt right here these little round plastic knobs here indicate to us that in here you have anchors for your baby car seat so you can put your baby car seat on either one of the outer positions uh, in the back of the center console here, and this pops open into a cup holder. Give you a look at the headliner now, so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. And you do have a set of map lights here for the rear row passengers. The seating area back here and in the front is in immaculate condition, very, very clean. The rear door panels are the same as in the front, charcoal, not charcoal gray, medium gray. Um, you do have also storage and a bottle holder here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. Let me show you how that works. Push that little lever over. What that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that can open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, flick it over and this handle starts working again. All right, um, again, aluminum wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors with BF Goodrich tires that are nearly in new condition. <coughs> And you'll see here, you notice when I say the truck wasn't used for work, mo most of these trucks, when you get them to use for work, they have little scratches on the panels and on the side of the bed here and dings and dents. These are in perfect condition. The taillights are also in great condition. There's, they're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. <coughs> and you'll notice in here, this is a telling tale. Look how clean it is back here. I mean, there's a few specks of dust and stuff like that, but I mean, you'll, you'll know, you can tell that it's not dented up or scratched up or anything like that. Whoever had it took real good care of it and they definitely didn't abuse it or use it for everyday work. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Let's go around here also. I mean, it's not to say that it may not have a little nick like that, but it's very minimal. On a work truck, you'd have this all scratched up and these sides of the bed all dinged up. Whoever had it, maybe use it once or twice for work, but not a... Uh, not an, it's this definitely not an everyday work. On your rear glass here, you got the little lines, which are your rear window defoggers. Right rear door panel. If you look at another look at the interior here from a different angle. Really, really, really nice condition. Let's come around to the passenger front.
our front door panel, passing your seating area here. All right, before we conclude this video, I'd like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're, if you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.